Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals, and JSA Radio, your voice for tech and telecom on iHeartRadio. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya here in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii at PTC. Joining me here today, my friend, Mr. Arnold Tipper. He is the chief technology evangelist and co-founder of DKIX. Arnold, welcome to JSA TV. Yeah, welcome, uh, and thank you for inviting me. Uh, it's a great time over here. Thank you. Oh, we're, we're honored to have you here. So for our viewers who may not already know, can you tell us some of your latest news over at DKIX? So actually, um, those who are not yet familiar with the latest news on, on DKIX, I guess what we have uh, done so far last year is that we really made uh, New York the most relevant uh, internet exchange in, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So um, we are, we really brought so in internet exchange, this really means that you have to be in all the facilities where telecommunication is, not just in one facility, but all over the city. And I guess what we did is really, we from three years ago to now, we now have 150 networks, almost 150 gigabits of traffic. We will add a new facility in Long Island shortly. I'm already able to announce this. This will be the first internet exchange on Long Island. Ooh. And what we also did is we went to Dallas and, and this year, and this is really, I think, exceptional for the networking industry in the U.S. But not only that, what we also did in, in 2016 is we established an internet exchange in, in Madrid, and we went from zero to 60 networks in half a year, which is incredible. It's, it's amazing how you do it. Certainly you guys uh, defined network uh, peering fabrics uh, for us uh, with your work over in Frankfurt, and now you've gone ahead and, uh, and duplicated it in other key, key cities across, uh, for sure, the U.S. as well as the world. Yeah, basically, I, I guess we know how to do it technically, but what is most important, obviously, we also have the trust of our customers. Mm -hmm. Without the customers, we would not have any uh, traffic on, on the networks. And obviously, the customers think that DKIX is the right choice if you go for an internet exchange. Right. No, that's, that's very true. Something I hear from your customers a lot, uh, this trust factor. And when you're talking network and network security, it's an important thing. Few people may not realize, but peering has a lot to do with overall network security. Um, and uh, and you guys are certainly leading the charge with your product called black holing. Yes. So um, at, so black holing, or to say DDoS, DDoS is, is something we have to live with, yeah. and we have seen it in in 2016. Uh, DDoS attacks. This was not at an internet exchange, but. Uh, up to or, or even more than one terabit. You, you imagine one terabit, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. And at an internet exchange, we have the exceptional situation that not only one network is there, but a lot of networks. In the case, for example, in DKX Frankfurt, these are roughly 700 networks. This means the DDoS traffic is able to come from 700 directions, and the attack network has to deal with it. And this is why we already are engaged in um, counterattacking this DDoS by helping our customers to immediately drop the traffic whenever it enters the fabric, and not only when it hits your port when it's already too late. Wow, that's interesting. Very, very much so. So. Um also, it sort of brings to mind that you have a very unique vantage point in the industry um, as you're able to see trends as they come in um, from, a, you know, sort of the OSAI stack looking, looking down, looking out. Um, so tell us, what kind of trends are you seeing uh, that could be on the horizon for 2017? Um, I, I think we, we still see what, what we have already seen in, in 2016 is that security will be one of the most interesting things. Mm. So the, the internet has become crucial and, and we, we cannot think without the internet anymore. But what we've also seen is like the, the DDoS attacks that it 
it is not really secure, and we have to do something about it. The next thing, which is already uh, at the corner, is that we see IoT, Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. These are connected to the Internet, and most of the, or a lot of these devices are not secure. We have to do something about that. Right. And we have to be aware about that. So I would say what we have to take care of is security. We have to be aware, aware that a lot of points in the internet, a lot of services are not yet secured, and we have to take care of that. Yeah. Very good point. There is uh, a lot of IoT and security concerns coming up in, the, in this next year for sure in order to help prepare us as we uh, get ready for the onslaught of data. And um, getting back to how your members trust you, and I think this might be uh, something very interesting to, to DKIX, um, but you do a lot of member engagement and, and education, if you will, um, which I really find very uh, intriguing and, and uh, amazing, um, such as your, your DKIX Academy, if you will. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what we might expect from uh, DKIX in 2017 as you get your, your member um, education and networking uh, lined up? Yeah, this is uh, something of our latest service. This is the DKIX Academy. So what we have found out that especially the knowledge about peering mm -hmm. is just concentrated on a few persons. So we have to spread this news. And so what we did is we said this is a new service, the DKIX Academy. We will start with webinars. So we will have certain topics where we are talking about between 15 and 30 minutes with experts both from DKIX as well as from the industry. and then. I can imagine that we will broaden these services, mm. that we will have, for example, certificates as well, and perhaps also like something like not a DKIC certified peering engineer or something like that. Yeah. This is what we have in mind. Your, your DKIX Academy is exactly what we need here in our industry, making sure that there's so much positive reinforcing information, not misinformation, out there in the industry, something we're here at JSA very passionate about. So we look forward to your, your DKIX Academy as well as your DKIX Summit that you're famous for as well. Yeah, so the other thing we do is, is the summit, but the summit is more about networking and the traditional thing. So right. what we do is, um, last year, for example, we had the summit in Munich for, for the German and, and the surrounding countries as well and as in New York and in Istanbul at the same time. Mm -hmm. For sure, we will have the summit 2017 again, maybe in a little bit different format, maybe not at the same time, at the same places, but for sure, we will have the summit as well. Because packets, of course, they have to travel across an internet exchange, but without people, there would be no packet. So the most important is that people meet and these DKIC summits and, and any other opportunities where we are is where we want also to bring together the people who do the business. That's right, that's right. And so for anyone interested in learning more about DKICs who might be watching this here right now, where can they go? Um, so of course, one of these events, we are at all the major networkers events like PTC, we are at Nanox, we are at uh, RIPE events, at IETFs, we are at the DNOC, the Star knocks, FR knocks, <laughs> IT knocks. There are so any many knocks, knocks yeah. any knocks almost around the world. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and Telecom Exchange. You guys are often there and helping us support, which we, we love and cherish. Um, so, for folks who want to learn more, check them out at big events around the industry as well as dkicks.net. But follow them on social, Twitter, LinkedIn, and uh, of course, check them out on their website, dkicks.net. Thank you, Arnold, for joining us here today in lovely Honolulu. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV.